are now in the brewing section here at the Middleby Innovation Kitchen, and I'm here with our very own brewmaster, Brad. How are you doing today, Brad? I'm doing great. I'm excited to be here. It's going to be fun today. It is going to be a lot of fun. Today, we're going to talk to you all about SS Brewtech, Deutsche Beverage, as well as our new canning line, Wild Goose Canning, right? And I think we're going to do three things, right? The important things, right? Yeah. So we're going to brew. We're going to brew. And secondly, we're going to can a little bit. And then we're going to do my personal favorite. We're going to drink a little bit of beer. Yeah, we are. The first step of the brewing process is adding our malted barley. We're gonna add it to the mill right now. We're taking the grain, we're breaking the grain open and exposing the sugar inside there. That sugar will be introduced to our wort. And at that point, we're actually gonna extract the sugars out and start a malting process. It's necessary to open up that grain so that we can mix it with water and pull all that sugar out of the, the grain husk. Right now we have our grain in our mash tun. This grain is going to sit there, absorb the water, and pull the sugars out. This takes about an hour. Then we're going to transfer it over to our boil kettle where we're going to add our hops. So we started today by adding water, which is our first and most important ingredient. That's about 98% of our beer. The second ingredient we added was our barley. And now will be our hops in the boils. And then lastly, we're gonna add our yeast. So four ingredients go into every single beer that we brew here today. Well, now that we've got our sugar water converted to our boil kettle, we're gonna add our third ingredient, which is our hops. So please add it. Wow, you, you can really tell this is where a lot of the flavor comes from right here. So the good thing about hops, it does two things for us. It provides our bitterness and it creates that aroma you like so much. Yeah, no, that's incredible. So what happens after we add those hops? So we're gonna let it boil for about an hour. That's gonna sterilize the beer or our sugar water at this point. After we get done with that hour boil, we're actually gonna transfer it to one of these called our fermenter. Our fermenter actually takes that sugar water, we add our yeast to it and it converts to alcohol. And that takes about four to six weeks. We've taken care of the brewing process. Now we need to put this beer into some cans. So Brad, how exactly does this wild goose canning system work? So this wild goose canning can take your can, be it 16 ounce, 12 ounce, slim cans, any style you prefer, any beverage you choose from wine, mead, beer, water. It'll actually take the beverage, put it into one of our beer cans, transfer it down to our seamer, add the top, kick out to your side. This system will do about 600 cans an hour or about two and a half barrels. Wild Goose also does canning lines that go up to about a thousand cans an hour. So whatever your needs are, large to small, Wild Goose has you. Most cans are parts per million per oxygen level, this is parts per billion. So you have very little oxygen in there, which means you got longevity on your beer. So rather than waiting two months before it goes bad, now we got about a year on the shelf before it goes bad. All right, so I think really now, the most important part of the brewing process is enjoying the fruits of our labor at the end here, right? So Brad, are you ready for, ready for a beer? I'm ready to sample. Absolutely. Let's give it a try here, see what, see what we have. All right, Brad, cheers. It's a good day. 